What is up everyone, Lord Ryujin here, bringing you another edition of Lord Ryujin Presents, where I, Lord Ryujin, your friendly neighborhood retro gamer, talk about, well, stuff that I feel is relevant, and today I wanted to go and talk uh, about Star Fox. Uh, it's a game that I picked up, what was it, last Friday, uh, whatever it came out. Uh, and I picked up the physical version, so it came with Star Fox Guard. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that, give my two thoughts on it, uh, because it's been kind of a little bit of a roller coaster uh, with Star Fox. Uh, this game was initially canceled, uh, it was not canceled, it was delayed, and uh, it came out at a later date, which to me um, was worth it. I mean, it's uh, quite polished. Um, However, it isn't what I thought it was going to be. I have to, I have to admit that. Do I still like Star Fox? Yes. Ultimately, I still like this new Star Fox Zero, but it was very difficult for me to swallow at first. I mean, it, it was something that um, when I first picked it up, I thought, you know, I'm just going to try and play it without using the um, the gyro for aiming. Um, and in a way, you can get away with that, but it's very, very difficult to, even if you set it to where you just use the ZL button, because there are certain parts in which the uh, game has you do what they call sharpshooting segments, pretty much, where you have to aim directly down to hit a weak spot or something. And it's quite frustrating at first, but once you get used to the controls... Uh, which is probably where 90% of the negativity that I feel is coming from when it comes to Star Fox Zero. Once you get past the controls and once you learn that you only have to do slight movements and then uh, you point it up and then you um, zero out the reticle to where you can aim down and you get to be more precise. Once you learn how to do these little tricks, the game plays much better. I have to admit that my first playthrough of the game, I was tired. Uh, from a long day of work and um, the controls were really off-putting for me I just wanted to play like the typical Star Fox games that I've been used to in the past uh, so it was really off-putting for me at first but once I got used to it it was fine um, and we'll come back to that in just a moment uh, I want to take a little bit to talk about Star Fox Guard Star Fox Guard is a game that has actually surprised me because when I played Star Fox Guard at first, well, when I first heard about Star Fox Guard, I should say, I thought there's no way this thing's going to work. I mean, we're talking about something that um, is basically a tower defense game, something that I'm not very too big on, and um, it's really just taking the idea of a tower defense game and using it with Star Fox characters. Um, but it works surprisingly well, uh, considering everything. Um, so that's that. Uh, but one of the things that was quite surprising for me in that regard was uh, the fact that it played pretty much as simply as I thought it was going to be. I mean, you have the ca different cameras on the gamepad. You tap them, it changes that angle, and then you just move the uh, stick and you shoot. It's really simple. Uh, but I've only played the first few levels of it because I've been focusing more on Star Fox Zero. So I haven't gotten into any... Uh, depth with the game yet to explain um, anything else in regards to that. So I might do a follow-up video specifically for Star Fox Guard uh, later on when I do get some time to play it. But since it comes as a bundle, that's the reason I'm talking about both of them. Um, Star Fox Zero though, I have to say my biggest gripe when it comes to Star Fox Zero is that it is yet another reimagining. I mean we already had Star Fox that came out and Star Fox 64 which basically reimagined the Star Fox formula and here we are now with Star Fox Zero and it's basically explaining everything with Star Fox again about James McCloud and Pigma and Andros and it's just like it would, be, it would have been nice to have done something uh, different. Uh, perhaps a follow-up in some way um, but maybe I haven't gotten too far into it yet I don't really know it's just something that as of right now I'm about halfway through the game or at least my first playthrough of it um, and it's just something that's not um, really blowing me away with the story uh, and I was expecting I guess more from Platinum in that regards but that was probably more of Nintendo's uh, 
doing as far as like where we want to keep it traditional in this regards. Um, but Ultimate Star Fox Zero is a good game and I would recommend it. I mean, it is a, um, a pretty good Star Fox experience, especially if you're a Star Fox veteran. It has um, different branching paths and once you learn the different, um, I call them abilities, but once you get the different basically ships, like going into walker mode and stuff like that, you can go back through later stages and find areas where you can like stand off the walker and take a different path and stuff like that. So there's plenty of uh, replayability just like in previous Star Fox games, which is something that I really do enjoy. Um, but that's my two cents real quick. I gotta get into work for another day. But I appreciate you watching me. As always, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.